Hello there. Uh, I was asked some questions about my soloing, uh, especially on the on the G minor solo on the long train running chords that I did in my YouTube channel. And uh, some of the viewer asked me what I do if I can share some of my patterns and stuff. Uh, of course, I can do that. So I will talk about that solo some. Uh, what I do in that solo. Uh, the solo is pretty much based on three elements. It's like the G minor blues scale. Uh, of course very useful because it's, this is a G minor blues. Uh, starting with the G minor, going to the C minor and back to the G minor and, and going to the E flat major 7 and to the D7 and back to the G minor. So. It's pretty, pretty much a regular minor blues. Uh, so the blues scale is of course one of the show, my, my, uh, what I choose. And I also choose to play with the G Dorian, uh, the minor scale, the Dorian. Uh, and I'm also putting in some G pentatonic, G minor pentatonic stuff. That is my, one of my favorite scales. Uh, so the solo is based like uh, doing some um, blue scales uh, and uh, of course using the bender in the in the X edge. So I and it, this is pretty much uh, playing the notes from a blue scale, and uh, I have to know where I'm where I'm heading. Uh, using this bander, so uh, I know the, 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 the notes of the scale, and I, if I want to play a D, I will play a C. So I can bend to the D. Or to the, like the blues. If I do want to do that, then my approach note is the, is the C sharp or the D flat that I'm going to. So I'm playing the C and I'm bend to the C sharp. Or if I want to play a G, I, I start with the F and I bend to the G. And so it's really about uh, knowing the scales uh, pretty good in your fingers and uh, kind of uh, be before, so you have to know before which uh, note you're going to play so you can bend to it. Uh, that's one of the stuff I'm doing. And I'm uh, also using the G Dorian scale uh, uh, when I play. Uh, and in this solo I'm doing some, uh, some runs uh, where I go fast from uh, one note to, to another. Uh, and then I'm going through the G Dorian. Uh, the G Dorian is like a minor scale. With a, uh, you have a, a, what do you say? A major six. And you have a minor seven. And then an octave. With these notes, I'm doing these runs uh, where I, I start with one note and I want to I want to go to a certain note and I, I want to go to a note that I like that's uh, that's sounding good to the to the the harmony and the chords of the song, of course. Uh, you can like you do like this. You can start on the F, which is one note down from the G Dorian, but I start one down, yeah. and I go like this in sixteenths and moving it up one step at a time. And, uh, and I'm taking myself from the F to the G one octave up. And faster it's like this. That's the, that's the major principle of my runs. Uh, I'm running through the 16th and moving one note up 
and then I have a point where I want to I want to come to the G or I want to come to the oh, whatever. Uh, and then uh, in the solo, I'm also using the the patterns of uh, the pentatonic scales. Pentatonic scales is uh, is, a, is a scale of five notes, so it can be G, B flat, C, D, F, and G. And the same procedure as the with the uh, with the running, I'm doing is a scale and I'm moving it up one step at a time. So I start here with the F. Take it one more time. Oh yeah. If uh, I was doing some, some errors there, but uh, picking four notes and uh, moving it up, and, uh, and also moving it, uh, of course, uh, in ry rhythmical displacement, uh, I'm moving, moving it uh, one step before or one step after, starting with a, like a rest instead of starting on the beat and that stuff uh, to make it interesting. Uh, and um, if you listen to the solo, I am also also using the pentatonic scales like this that I I do first. But that's also just just a pattern moving up or down. But I, I repeat the, some of the notes at the top. That's uh, some of the stuff I'm doing in this um, solo too, and uh, I'm using the bender, which is very, very nice. Which if you, you do it like this pattern, if you just uh, make a pentatonic uh, uh, like a loop, then bender. very nice. Uh, I don't know if you can use this uh, tips but this is the stuff I'm using in this uh, solo so uh, here we have it. Use it if you like it and uh, thank you for listening to my solos and uh, viewing my YouTube channel. Bye bye!